In this video, I want to experiment with some sends, some time-based effects, and some other dynamics effects, as well as a little pitch shifting to fatten up our drum tones. Because one of the things you're noticing as we start adding in the bass, the rhythm guitars, the lead guitars, the mix is starting to get more and more dense. And so what's happening is the punch that we have from the drums is not cutting it. It's literally not cutting through the mix the way I want it to. So let's fatten up these drum tones. So here's what the drum kit sounds like right now in the breakdown section. It's not bad, but it's just kind of bare bones and kind of dry. So my first step to fattening up these drums is to add a gated reverb to all of the close mics. Now you can do this from the individual close mic channels and replacer tracks if you want, or you can do this from the auxes. I'm gonna do this from the auxes, so I'm gonna take my kicks, snares, and toms, and I'm gonna route these over to bus 13. I'm gonna grab the aux track assigned to bus 13 and drag that up here. And I'm gonna call this gated verb. And then on this aux track, I'm going to load up Space Designer, which is Logic's convolution reverb plugin. And I'm gonna load up a gated reverb under the small spaces. So I'll go to small spaces, gated reverbs, and let's try out a couple of these and see which one we like best. Once again, since we're loading a reverb on an aux track, you do not want any of the dry signal in there. Make sure that is muted. And let's just roll up the send amount going to that aux track. Not much of a difference with that one. Let's try this one, the gated chamber. Yeah, it's a little longer. Yeah, I really love how that sounds on the snare. So I'm gonna pull that up in the snare. Maybe dial it back a little bit in the kick and dial it back a little bit in the toms. Now, another thing you can do is if you don't like the sound of your room mics or maybe the rooms are a little too dense like mine are, uh, let's just go ahead and give those a listen. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not really happy with the way those turned out. I still want them in the mix because I do think they're helping out the cymbals a bit. Um, but what I'm going to do is pull that way back in the mix. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over all of the channels in the drum kit, the individual channels. And I'm going to make this go over to another bus. We'll use bus 14. Let's option click to make those all unity. Then I'll drag that aux track up here. And I'm going to call this room sim. We're going to create a simulated room. And this is also a helpful trick if you only have a limited number of channels to record drums with. Like maybe you've got eight channels. So kick, snare, tom, 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 a stereo pair for your overheads. And then maybe you've got one more mic for something else, either hi-hat or snare bottom or snare side. What do you do about the room mics if you don't have enough channels for the room mics? Well, you can simulate a drum room. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use Space Designer again. And I'm going to go under Small Spaces rooms and let's try out one of these recording rooms so i dialed back the kick drum going to the reverb a little bit but let's see what that sounds like now
Yeah, so we get a thicker tone because of the gated reverb and a bit more of an open sound since we're not relying on the rooms, uh, the room mics themselves for the room tone. There's sort of like a thickening effect. And then the room sim is really where our room sound is going to be coming from. Now, one other trick I like to do if you find that your snare drum just isn't fat enough, like you want an even fatter snare drum, what you can do is you can either do this from your snare bus, you can do it from one of your snare tracks, typically the snare top track, or you can do it with uh, your replacer track, which is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to create another send off of that replacer track. We'll go to bus 15, option click on that. Let's pull this over, and I'm going to call this snare thicken or snare thick. And what I'm going to do on this track is it's just going to have the snare going into it. It's also isolated because it's the replacer snare. If you use the snare aux or you use a regular snare track to feed this aux track, I'd recommend putting a gate on it. You can go down to the noise gate here and load that on and just isolate the snare hits. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pitch shift plugin or pitch shifter plugin. And we're going to use the drums mode. We're going to turn on latency compensation, make sure that the mix is set to 100, and then dial down the tuning of that drum. Now, optimally, you want to have both of these playing at the same time so you can hear what the relationship is between the dry signal and the pitch shifted signal. So all that's really doing is it's just making the snare drum a little deeper sounding. I use a third-party plugin for this called Torque from Waves. It's one of the few Waves plugins I still use, but it's really nice for detuning drums and creating this like deeper, thicker drum tone. And then one last aux track I'm going to add to this is going to just be on the kicks, snares, and toms. And this is going to go over to bus 16. We're gonna pull that over here. And this is gonna be called a punch track. This is just going to be an expansion track where I throw an expander on there to really bring out the transients and then blend that in the mix for a little bit more punch. So let's solo that punch track. I'm pulling down the sends a little bit because I wanna have a little bit of headroom here for the expander. So I'm gonna to go to dynamics expander and the way expansion works is unlike a compressor where it pulls down the peaks what this does is it increases the peaks it pulls the transients away from the background noise so instead of using compression ratios like two to one three to one five to one you're going to be using expansion ratios which are going to be like you know 0.5 to one or you know 0.6 to one so i'm just going to grab one of the presets up here and select more punch So again, without the expander. So you can hear each of the drum hits, the transients are really coming through a lot better. And on this track, I'm gonna kind of pull it down in the mix. Let's listen to all of the drums again. In the future, we may need to swap out some of those low tom sounds with a different sample. I'm not quite happy with the way they sound, but we'll worry about that later. One other thing you can do here is you can take your snare thickening effect and you can even run this into the punch track and you can also run it into the gated reverb track. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this into bus 16, which is the punch track. 
And then I'm also going to run it into the gated reverb track on 13. But all in all, I think the drums sound way better now with these thickening effects. Let's just sort of A-B these so we can hear it before and after. And yeah, our drum bus is clipping now, but at the end of the day, just remember we're still on pre-fader metering, so any volume changes I make are not going to show up in the meters in that mode. So I'm gonna switch back to post-fader uh, metering mode. Yeah, I'm just going through and listening to everything and making sure that I can still hear the snare where I want to hear it, pulling it up a little bit more in the punch track. And I'm also going to add a little more top end to the kick drum just to bring out the click in the kick. Cool. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm liking that drum tone. Still needs a little bit of work, but we'll uh, worry about that later on. So in the next video, we are going to move on to vocal comping. We're going to comp all of these vocals, and then we'll move on to mixing the vocals. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.